Hi, I'm Evan, and today we're going to be discussing how to stay positive. Given that unforeseen circumstances produced by COVID-19, it is more important than ever for us to stay involved and connected. As such, we wanted to remotely interview some of our peers to see how they're staying busy and positive. This quarantine has helped me realize that I had zero hobbies whatsoever. So I was like, I think it's time to change that unless I want to die of boredom. And I started doing some watercoloring and it is honestly super relaxing, super calming. I've had a lot of time to focus on music, kind of hone in skills on different instruments and stuff that I haven't really had the time to. I had to stay productive and busy. So I've been cleaning up my desk, going through papers I haven't gone through in years and trying to figure out where I was going to go to college. Spending time with family. So we've been playing a lot of games and watching a lot of TV. Trying to keep my mind engaged and also keep my body up. When you're pursuing your passions, you're not only distracting yourself from the current situation, but you're also getting better at whatever you are working on. A lot of structure is kind of gone. We all spend our days doing the same three things, then we're not really gonna continue to grow as people. It helps you discover more about yourself as we go along in the next few weeks. Is it's introducing a lot of pretty big major questions that I don't think a lot of us expected to be asking. It made us realize how much we took advantage of the moments we made. Like when you go out with friends, you never really had a second thought. It was just like any other day because you don't really know what you have until it's gone. Cancellation of schools and events. You know, our graduation's been canceled. Our prom's been canceled. We can't visit colleges. So one thing that my family has been doing is taking turns cooking and baking treats for the whole family. And it's kind of a fun way for people to get distracted for a couple hours. Making sure to tip your delivery guy. It's a small act, but it means a lot. Is uh, just checking in, you know, just making sure that all your friends and loved ones are, are healthy and that they're being taken care of and that they're doing okay in these kind of uncertain times. Evan and I learned a couple of things after speaking with our friends. For one, we recognized an unrelenting positivity that has allowed them to stay motivated, involved, engaged, and optimistic about the future. Additionally, we learned about a lot of fun pastimes that have helped them stay occupied during this time, from baking to family bonding time. We at Live Golden challenge you to embrace the principles of the Golden Rule by working to stay involved in your community and family during this time. Whether that means delivering groceries for people in your neighborhood or keeping up with your friends through FaceTime. We hope everyone out there is doing well. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and live with it.